Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Chart Wizard in Access lets you quickly and easily create charts that represent data drawn from your queries or tables. There are many different types of charts available. Charts are inserted as a control into reports. You can insert a chart into a new blank report by first clicking the Report Design button that appears in the Reports button group on the Create tab in the ribbon. Unlike other report controls, the chart control that is inserted into a report uses its own data source for its information display. Therefore, you can insert it into a blank, unassociated report if desired. Next, click the Insert Chart button that appears in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon when the report is in Design view. Then click and drag over the area in the report where you want to display the chart to create a frame for the embedded chart control. When you release your mouse button, the Chart Wizard will then launch if you have the Use Control Wizards button activated in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Note that this button appears in a separate section when you click the More drop-down button in the lower right corner of the list of controls. In the first screen of the Chart Wizard, select the data source for the chart. You can select either the Tables, Queries, or Both option button to display those types of objects in the large list. Then select the name of the table or query you want to use as the chart's data source from the listing of tables and or queries shown. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, choose the fields to display in the chart by selecting them from the available fields list and then clicking the right pointing arrow to move them into the fields for chart list. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, click the type of chart you want to create from the listing of chart types shown. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, drag and drop the field shown at the right side of the window into the desired location shown at the left side of the window. You can double click any summary field shown to change the function performed on the field in a separate dialog box if desired. You can also click the preview chart button to show a preview of your chart in a separate window. Once you are satisfied with the appearance of your chart, click the next button to continue. In the last screen of the chart wizard, Type a title for your chart into the box provided, and then select whether or not to add a legend to the chart. Click the Finish button to add the chart control to your report. Don't be alarmed if the chart doesn't display your data in the design view. It won't. You need to switch to Layout view to see the data within the chart and also have the ability to resize the chart control until it appears the way that you want it to within the report. Charts are independent objects that contain many smaller objects that have their own properties which can be independently formatted to suit your tastes. When you're in Design View, you may select the Chart Control and then view its properties within the Properties sheet. The Row Source property, which is located on the Data tab, displays the SQL code of the query upon which the chart is based. If you click into the Row Source Property box, you can then click the Builder button that appears at the right end of the box to view the SQL query in the Visual Query Design view, which you can then edit if needed. To edit the chart in Design view, double-click the Chart Control. This will activate the Microsoft Graph program. Note that the toolbars change to reflect that fact. The new toolbar that appears lets you format the chart. You can select any object in the chart and then click the available buttons that appear in the new toolbar to change its formatting. The data that is shown in the data sheet when you edit the chart simply displays the most recent data. You do not need to change this data sheet info. After making any formatting changes you want, click back into the blank area of the report to switch back to access. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.